Broad Green International School is a technology college. We've had quite an investment in technology. We started the iPad project as a response to a mass review that we'd undertaken with the local authority. We felt that the students needed to be probed and extended further. Uh, differentiation, although evident, um, we saw that it needed to be targeted at the higher level. And we also felt that there was missed opportunities for learning discussion um, and that really we wanted to see pupils much more actively engaged in discussing their maths learning. When Jay came in from Learn Maker, we identified the maths department as being a department that would benefit from the use of the training with regards to use a mobile device in the classroom. When we first met Broad Green International School, their goal was to improve teaching and learning with iPads. Like most schools, Broad Green had bookable class sets. However, due to the ineffectiveness of this method, we suggested a project approach. By focusing on just one subject, we could deliver a huge transformation. The maths department was a priority, so we developed a 10-week project which focused on the areas marked for improvement. We placed equal focus on developing the teacher's digital and pedagogy skills. The big goal was to start a sustainable transformation, and repositioning the iPad as secondary to the pedagogy was the key to achieving this. The session really brought home to me the fact that yes, we were really using the iPads as substitutes for laptops. And that in, unless we really invest in some training, that's all that we're ever going to be used for. Been working with James, it's, 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 it's been great. Some staff thought, oh, we're going to get lots of resources and we can just use them, but that wasn't a point of the project. It was obviously more skills-based, gives us the skills to, to do it ourselves. Now you have an iPad, you can get direct feedback from the teacher. You can ask her questions and she'll answer that straight back. If you don't understand anything, you can say, oh, I don't understand this question, could you help me out? And she could come back and correct it for you, and then you can do it again. You go back on the iPad, and you're very happy to see that you've done well. I think I'm getting better because I'm getting direct feedback from the teacher, which really, really helps. I found it really exciting to use Shoby and explain everything so far. With their exercise books, it might be a few weeks before I've got around to marking them. So now, if they've done a lesson where they've done a particular task, then I can give them instant feedback straight away. It engages them so that they, they get the sheet done. We've tried to focus on our marking policy where there's something that they've done well and then something they need to improve on. It was a key thing, really, for teachers when you have training is that the people delivering it have been teachers themselves. You know, so you know that they understand the the pressures that you might be under and understand pedagogy, you know, and, and different practices. We've been really delighted at the way the maths team have just embraced the project. In terms of developing pedagogy, we felt that the iPad project was a great opportunity and a really exciting, innovative way to develop the skills of staff. 